the scenario would be that you're working on a team or someone has developed and created a MailChimp campaign, maybe a newsletter in our, as in our example, and they've sent you the test of the email through MailChimp and you've seen it and you've seen something that needs to be edited. So you could send them back uh, an email saying, hey Joe, could you change these couple of things or you because you have access to the dashboard, which means that you've logged in with an account. You're at the dashboard. You can click campaigns, go to where the campaign is, and it's not been sent yet, so it says edit. You can edit it. You can change these settings, but they've already been created, so I'll just say next. And this all looks fine. I don't want to edit anything there. But I do want to edit something that's in the actual email text or images itself. So here it is. And what I wanted to show you are these two panes. So this is the pane that actually shows you, this side shows you what it's going to look like. It's kind of a WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get. And there it is. That's what it's going to look like. On this side, that's how it got there. All right. So if you were creating a new one, you can take a widget and you can drag it in here. You can move things around. You can say, I want to add a, you can take a widget and drop it, the block. And you can put an image in there. You know, you can find one from your computer or however you want to do it. But keep in mind, you're just trying to make an edit to something that's already been created. So what you want to do is, and let me remove that while I am thinking about it. So what you do is you can click in any one of these block areas. And when you do, when you click, see how my cursor's changed? Boom, it's not over there. Now it's a finger. When I click an area, it brings up the, the edit side over here where I can change things. So if I wanted to, to remove how clearly are you communicating with your audience over here, I can just delete it. And it's gone, and it, and it removes it from over here. All right, so I can delete it, and it's gone. I can put it back in, and there it is, and it's back again. If I wanted to make some edit in here, I came across these two posts tweeted by a friend and leadership blogger at DB on Leadership today. Okay, if I wanted to link this to Twitter, I can highlight it, do a link, and I can put in his Twitter URL there, and it will be like a link to Twitter. I can change the text, and as I change it, I need to add some text here. You can see that it, that it shows up right here. So once I've got things edited, I've made the changes, I've fixed the typo, I've corrected the spelling, and I'm done, I hit save and close. Save and close brings us back to where we were, where you see all the buttons or the widgets or you know these blocks that you can move around. But for the sake of this, uh, what we're doing here in this screencast, we're done. So what's next? One other thing I wanted to show you, this plain text. And I've had people say, well, what, what's that plain text for? Well, some people still view emails in a plain text manner. Um, if you had um, email back in the day, back in the 90s, I guess, most of your email came in as plain text versus HTML that we get today. So what happens is I made any changes over here to this HTML on this side. If I've changed this, I need to basically copy those changes over. So I just clicked in there and any changes that needed to be made were made onto this so that somebody that um, is looking at your email in HTML, it looks correct. It is actually the right information. If you were to skip that step, it would be the old inf unedited information. That's really all I wanted to show you. There's a lot of other things you can do in terms of you can preview it in, in, in a pop-up here. That'll be kind of what you'll see. Um, you can do that in the in a browser. Lots of different ways to do this. But for the sake of what we're trying to do here, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.